When I first started FPV, I wanted a painting coat that was cheap, so that if I crashed, it would not cost a lot of money. I wanted something that was functional and worked well with my system, and I wanted something that was easy. Because I built this with simple material, this pan and tilt is not recommended on an FPV platform that costs a lot of money, but rather on an FPV platform that you may do stunts or tricks with that you normally wouldn't do on an expensive platform. When I first started FPV, I wanted I didn't really know anything about RC. This includes 180 degree servos. For sake of the budget aspect of this pan and tilt, I will stick with the normal servo. But if you wish, it is recommended you use a 180 degree servo for best functionality. The price is going to be around $2 to $3 for each servo. Be it there are two servos, two small squares of foam board, and one popsicle stick. This pan and tilt can be built for very cheap. So I'll go ahead and show you how easy and quick this is. Because I'm, I already have a pan and tilt that I use, I will be building this with older servos. So basically, what you need to do is when you order servos, you'll get these long ones and then you'll get the half ones that you use on your airplanes. So we're going to go ahead and use this one and we're going to set up one vert uh, parallel with the servo and then we're going to set up one perpendicular with the servo. So basically what we're going to do first is take one of our pieces of Dollar Tree foam board which is one inch by one inch and we're going to glue it right on top of the servo that has the control horn that's parallel with it. So we'll go ahead and take our hot glue gun, put it right on top, and go ahead and set the foam board down. You can also use epoxy if you want to, but um, for sake of time I'll, I'll just use hot glue. So now that that is almost dry, we're going to go ahead and stick the second one on and basically all you have to do is just put some more glue on top of this and stick the next servo on actually like this on the side so now it looks like this now we're going to take our popsicle stick that is two and three quarter inches long and we're going to go ahead and glue this right on this control horn that is perpendicular with the servo. So we'll go ahead and put some more glue on. And stick this on top. And that should dry pretty quickly. So now our pan and tilt is pretty much done. So now, once that's dry, we'll go ahead and glue the camera on. Um, as you can see, this is a metal case. This is the um, Pilot Cam HD from Fat Shark. This was the first camera I got. So what we're going to do is we're just going to basically glue this on to the popsicle stick. So we can put some glue on here. And stick that right on top. And that's pretty much it. That is the pan and tilt. Um, it's very simple. Um, it works really well. And like I said before, it's recommended that you use 180 degree servos for um, best use and best experience. I just use this because this is what I had laying around. Um, I already have a pan and tilt, so I'm not. I don't have a need for this one. This was just for demonstration purposes. So yeah. Um, if you have any questions on how to set this up on your transmitter, just ask in the comment se uh, section, and I'll try to figure it out. Also, check out my Google Plus page by clicking on this link. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and here's the video of this pan and tilt in action.